One of the hardest things as a minister, I think, is to make the call with your people about whether or not to have church in the aftermath of bad weather or during bad weather. So it's all about safety. Um, I think there are some people who are the hale and hearty, like, we're staunch. We, the Lord must be worshiped. And so if you live close enough as the pastor to come over and open the church and you want to do that, that's wonderful, I think. I used to do that when I lived around the corner. But also just bear in mind that when we do that, when we're like, church stays open no matter what, we are signaling to our people that they should maybe get here no matter what. And a lot of people kind of love that challenge. And that includes people who really ought not to be trying to get out in the horrible, horrible elements. They have mobility issues, or they have vision issues, or their reflexes aren't great. So even if the roads are clear, like I was driving over to church here to make sure that the that the drive over was, was decent, and I noticed that there's a lot of wind whipping um, powdery snow off the road into my windshield. And I'm thinking, well, okay, I have really good vision. I have good reflexes. But um, some of my folks who would be maybe driving over here tomorrow morning don't have that. So those are all things I take into consideration. And I, I talk to leaders and obviously talk to our staff. Um, and you, we have to think about people who are teaching Sunday school, people who are hosting coffee hour, people who are ushering, people who feel a strong sense of responsibility and obligation to um, you know, support the, the worship program to be part of it. And that includes choir, of course, and musicians. So all of those people feel a sense of holy obligation to, to be at church if church is open. And I think that the, the, the pastoral thing to do is just let them know that it's okay if they feel in any way compromised, health-wise or safety-wise or whatever, um, that they should let, let you know. And um, we can do a, you know, some kind of a, an adapted program. But I think it's an important message about how we create Sabbath together to not just muscle on ahead just because, you know, you can get there or your, the staff can get there or the, you know, organist can get there. There are, there are other things to consider. I'm like leaning back. I'm like about to fall asleep. Oh, it is cold out. Okay, Pigeon, so uh, happy January 2018, and mwah, be beautiful. Love you.